Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase. I have some awesome models for you guys to check out today. Something a little bit different, not 40K. Uh, we've got some Raging Heroes models for you guys to check out. So we're back in a second to have a look at them. But if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome here at Siege Studios. We're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with four levels starting at our bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Now, if you're interested in a quote with us, very simply, all you need to do in the description of this video where it says get a quote, click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege website and our contact form. And once there, simply select the relevant drop-down options from those that are available for your project and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Once that's sent off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at these awesome models in more detail. See you guys shortly. So we're back to have a look at these uh, awesome Raging Heroes models. Uh, various different models and sculpts in this force as well, which is quite nice, a nice selection of them as well. In quite dynamic poses as well, the whole project has been worked on by Mike here at Siege, uh, who I know he did have a, a real fun time working on the different models than he normally work on. Um, we've got some Holy Warriors slash Valkyrie slash Angelic Crusaders here, so we're gonna pull a lot of them forward and you can have a look at them. Uh, but overall, really, really cool models. We'll start with this uh, awesome model here it's got a bit of a flamer uh, again as you can see here uh, really really sort of detailed models uh, quite uh, the, the scale as well is there very very quite slim as well which is quite nice uh, so you've got a nice little subtle details and things to paint uh, but Mike's done a stellar job just picking out all of them respectively which is quite cool uh, they are resin as well so they're not plastic models so they are resin models as well uh, just so you're all aware of that uh, if you've never seen these models before that's just one of the flamers um, there's a couple of uh, similar sculpts as well. So you've just got this lady here uh, with a shield and also a sword outstretched. Uh, but you can see Mike's done all the little details very intricately, uh, all picked out uh, with multiple highlighting on all of them as well. Um, pull forward the same sculpt just so you can see obviously the consistency from model to model slightly different sword on this uh, this lady as well uh, but as you'll see moving around every little detail painted in a really clean super super flat fashion as well which is really nice even the little braids and things in the hair are all individually highlighted as well uh, so that's just her um, another one of the really cool models in a very stoic pose uh, we've got this this lady here uh, again lots and lots of detail this shield here covering obviously a bit of her leg and also the, uh, the cloth work as you'll see but all the faces and the eyes and everything all painted as well. Uh, very, very stoic pose. Lovely the amount of, of highlighting and blending done on the capes and cloth work as well to give them a bit of uh, character and show those shadows and, and contrasted areas quite nicely as well. Uh, so that's just her. Uh, another one of the miniatures has this awesome action kind of pose where she looks like she's swung the sword. Slight blue tinge on the sword as well, which is really lovely. Lots of glazing work done on the metals to give them interest. Uh, you'll see this kind of snake as well climbing up her leg, which is quite cool as well. Just adds that green, vibrant colour and complements the red really nicely as well. Uh, again, the same attention to detail on all the cloth work, as you'll see. Um, all of them are blonde as well, as well which is uh, which is quite cool. Uh, that colourway and hairstyle has been done across uh, across the commission. Uh, we'll pull forward one of the two characters. You have to forgive me, but I'm not too sure of the name. So if you do know it, please do put it in the comments and help me out. Uh, but as you can see here, very, very cool pose, all this cloth work and obviously just uh, flowing away there, emphasizing like a gust of wind or something, which is quite cool. Uh, again, really lovely attention on the cloth work, as you'll see here, all different purples and hues that have been put into that to add vibrancy and uh, just show the raised areas and contrasted areas. All the candles and things on the back are all painted as well. Uh, you've got this staff here as well, all the metal work with multiple highlighting to add real interest to it. It looks very, very ancient as well, which is quite nice. I do love the effect that Mike's done on the candles to make it look like they're dripping down as well, the wax that's uh, that's, that's cooled. Uh, so that's just uh, her. Uh, and then we'll move through and have a look at the other um, models from the force. We'll look at the last character at the end. Again, this one's got a gun here, as you'll see, just sort of like uh, charging forward. Uh, all the cloth work again. Lots of uh, sort of uh, dynamic posing with these as well, which is really nice. Uh, showing those capes and the hair flowing in a certain direction as well, which is really cool. Uh, let's just move through a couple of these. There's another one running here with a pistol. All the lenses and little things all painted, as you'll see there, little green lens all done on the gun. Uh, and again, every little bit of individual details with lots of time spent on it. Lovely blue colorway added to the blades as well, just glazed on just to add that interest to the metals. Uh, that's one thing with true metallics. It's, it's nice to add a lot of interest to them in sort of colors and reflections and things. Uh, another one here with a really, really cool sort of uh, sort of reactive pose as well. Again, the wind blowing in a different direction on this one. 
It got all of the, uh, the cloth work with lots of sort of texture and stippling added to it to add that texture onto the cloth and determine it as a different material to the armor, for example. Uh, so that's just this one. And then uh, we've got this really cool, so it looks like she's bounding or leaping or landing, for example, which is quite nice so with only one leg touching the floor, which is quite cool. Uh, the leg just sort of like hidden behind the cloth work there, as you'll see. Uh, but overall, really, really cool pose on this one as well. So that's just her. And then finally, the last character, uh, again, a very, very, ooh, very, very cool model, as you'll see here. Uh, Awesome, awesome sculpt on her with a hammer as well and this sort of uh, staff with a metallic top, as you'll see, very steampunk-esque there at the top. Uh, all the face and everything fully painted and highlighted, as you'll see. But overall, really, really cool model. Again, they're resin models, really, really lovely to work with. Uh, not quite easy to convert as well, which is quite nice. Uh, so I do hope you like them, guys. We're back in a second to see them all in their glory again and find out how you can take out a character like this with us. And hopefully this shows you that we do other things other than uh, 40K. Uh, so if you do have other projects, be it Bolt Action, Age of Sigma, for example, uh, Infinity, awesome Raging Heroes models, then feel free to drop us an inquiry. Uh, but we're back in a sec to take a look at these at a glance again. So see you shortly. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I do hope that you have liked these Raging Heroes models. Uh, I know Mike had a fun time working on them. If you're interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a small force like this, awesome characters which we specialize in or a large army then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to our website's contact form once there select the drop down options that are relevant for you and your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format once that's fired off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started uh, while you're here on youtube do us a huge favor give the video a thumbs up let us know obviously if you like the video and the models and also if you can subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you will be notified when new videos do go up on the channel. Last thing I would also request is that you do go give us a like and follow respectively on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter which are also linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching the video guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye bye.